Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for September 2nd through the 8th. I'm going to be taking a look at your current situation, where things are heading for you in the week of September 2nd through the 8th. And I'm also going to be looking at the internal external energy affecting your situation as well as the outcome. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. And this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channels, it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. And please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. However, the focus is for September 2nd through the 8th. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Also, just want to tell you all, I've missed you so much. I'm so happy to be back. I know everybody's been wondering, where did you go? Um, so I did make a, a small announcement on a couple of videos that I was doing some home renovations. It was only supposed to be a three-day project. It turned into a week project with other issues that came up. But um, as I was just saying on <laughs> my other videos, you know, I went to the university of YouTube and became like this, um, I'm just going to say beginner contractor of my own. Uh, yeah, I, it was a lot of work, but I do not want to do it again. Um, but I do take a lot of, uh, I guess pride in what I did and what I do because I'm so diligent and I have OCD. <laughs> so so I have to make sure everything's like perfect. Um, so, you know, sometimes when other people do it, I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. all right. Okay, Virgo, enough with all the, the chit chat. We can chit chat more later. I just want to let y'all know I will be making a couple of changes on my channel where we can interact a little bit more. I'm really excited about it. That will be coming up in the next couple weeks. So just look out for that. All right. Let's jump in for Virgo, the week of September 2nd through the 8th. Show me what they are currently going through, their current situation. Okay. And where things are heading. What? Whoa. Okay, Virgo. All right, we have the Page of Swords. I do see somebody spying on you, but I also see you being cautious currently. It's like you have your guard up a little bit. You're a little bit cautious, but you're like, Mom, curious. I need to learn a little bit more before I really let that sword down. So you're like, it's up right now. I'm not putting it down until I find more out. So we have the page of pentacles of where things are heading. I see some good news coming in and I love that for you. And um, not only good news, but learning that I don't have to be the fastest person moving in this situation. Everything will happen as it's supposed to happen here. The judgment card comes out as your internal energy affecting your situation, which is your energy. And I love that judgment card because this is where you are viewing everything from above and you are making that judgment call. It's like you have to face this thing, but you are making that call after viewing everything for what it truly is. And I like that. So, and also giving something a second chance here, like, okay, well, all right let's see now we have the four of swords for the external energy affecting your situation so that could be people around you a person around you if not the energy around you with that four of swords it does come off that someone's being lazy they're not communicating very well um there's a break in communication or just needing some downtime for themselves here so but that's what has you cautious like hmm the outcome for your situation though is the Knight of Cups. So I see someone coming to you with a lot of love. Like they are just like, you know what? I'm all in. So they're expressing their love and they are really following where their heart is taking them. I do have the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Are we going on a date? Not us, not you and I, but you know what I mean. <laughs> are you going on a date? Are you going on a date with someone? So I see having a good time, celebrating, just having some fun, you know, and spending time with friends. But I also see, you know, we're going to a party. We're going to be having a great time together uh, kind of situation. And somebody misses you. Even if they needed some downtime, there's a reason they needed that downtime. And you are just curious why. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this page of swords here for your current situation all 
Okay, two things. Remember, there's someone who is spying on you, and that is somebody who's carrying around this heavy weight of wanting a relationship with you badly. You two might have had something, but it doesn't feel like it got very far. We do have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, so it's like something that started but never really made it to something else. Um, but that person carries around this weight of, I really want that. I really want, I wished I could, you're like the one that got away, but you also have somebody else where you are being cautious here. Okay. And you are really carrying around this weight, but not showing it. I feel like family is very important to you. Being around the right relationships is great, but the responsibility of building a commitment with someone here and really wanting that union and that relationship is what you want to learn. And it is new. It feels like this is a fresh new start to something, a new beginning. You're really committed. You're not, you're not in a rush, but there is a lot of responsibility that goes into it. I also see you very cautious here because you're not sure what they're, they have going on whenever they are not communicating well, or they're being lazy about something where you're like, come on, pick up the pace. Like I want to work hard towards this. Do you want to work hard towards this? So let's go ahead and clarify that page of pentacles for where things are heading. You're definitely receiving some good news here and it's giving um, something a second chance at working together with others to really make something happen here. And it feels like it creates a certain kind of balance that takes off fast for you. There's also a lot of communication after that, um, whether that is we're going to spend more time together or, you know, we're really communicating and making things happen. Some of you, this could be about you building a legacy and for yourself, taking on that hard work, responsibility. Um, you're this, you know, learning how to take care of your family or take care of all your financial needs. There's also um, an inheritance that you get, which creates something where you're like, I've always wanted to do this for myself. So that happens as well. For some of you, it, I'm seeing a relationship as well, whether it is romantic or it is a platonic business relationship. But the good news, you know, this page of pentacles is you're learning some things. You're also receiving a message of some good news and you really, really like what you're hearing. And some of you, it's a job opportunity and um, it's definitely a balance in your life and it's one that you've been waiting for. Um, it gets you really excited and you're like, I'm going to go for it. Good. You know, somebody recognizes what they want in uh, the quality of your work and that's where they're like, I want to, I want to see where this goes. So if you've been looking for a new job here, uh, Virgo, that is amazing because that is coming in of where things are heading for you. And I like that feels really good, but not hearing anything, not knowing anything can be frustrating because when we like to control things and we don't have control over it and it's hard to let go of that control, I'm with you. I'm like, I'm with you. Uh, just go to the University of YouTube and get answers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're like, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you know, sometimes whenever we don't have control over things, you can find things on YouTube that help you. There's so many different people in the world that really, really can help you with certain things. Like this is what it means to let go of control. Try this or that or whatever. It's educational. You know, that's how I see it. It's like, it's informative. Um, so the judgment card for the internal energy affecting your situation here. Let's go ahead and clarify that. Your energy here though, with this judgment card of making a judgment call based off of seeing and viewing things from above and getting the bigger picture, um, you're a little bit conflicted in your thoughts when it comes to money or some kind of stability here of what you're creating and making for yourself. It's interesting the way that it comes out because 
it's like you need time to really think about it. Okay, the judgment card is clarified by the five of swords, the queen of pentacles, the queen of swords, as well as the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. This conflict, whether it's with somebody else here, which it is a little bit, because there is another person attached here to your energy. You're taking the time to ground yourself, really think about things, um, rationalize, and just kind of waiting it out before you make a decision here to progress forward. You're like, I don't want to, if this is a love situation, even if it's not and it's work related, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're conflicted that somebody could be playing games when it comes to your stability of your life because you've worked so hard to get where you're at and you don't want to make the wrong decision or someone to take over something that you created solely on your own. Like I've done everything on my own. I don't need somebody else to come in and take charge kind of situation. So it's like you are waiting, you know, waiting things out to see if this is going to be exactly what you want. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that four of swords for the external energy affecting your situation. Four Swords is clarified by the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups, as well as the Ten of Cups. Oh, this is some inner work here. So this person um, that isn't giving you much communication, they're being lazy about things, they start to recognize that because their higher self is like, you know you're being a stubborn ass, and it's time for you to get off your butt and walk away from being stubborn, okay? Because it doesn't do you any good, it doesn't bring you happiness, and move towards that Ten of Cups. This is what you really, really want. So somebody's stubbornness definitely gets the best of them where their higher self is like shoving them. <laughs> like, get up. Stop acting like this with Virgo. You're not happy. So why, why sit here and do nothing? Like, you're not happy sitting here being bored. You're not happy sitting here being lazy when you really want this you know, relationship, whenever this is your true happiness, your true calling, whether this is love or I see a business situation here as well, Virgo. So, um, this person just getting over their stubbornness is what's going to, their higher self is like kicking them, kicking that person, like get over yourself and get up and do something about what you want. Let's go ahead and clarify that Knight of cups. Wow. Talk about some serious transformation and change here. Dinaida Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Death card, the Sun, and the Star at the bottom of the deck. This person moves in the direction of what they really want, which is happiness with you. You are their true calling. You are their happiness. You know, they want a great life with you. They want things to really flourish. And then opening up to their true happiness here and following their heart, you know, leads them to what they've been thinking is different. It's change. You're different to them. You provide a lot of happiness, even though they've been thinking about, you know, is this in, is this even worth the end? Is it not worth the end because of their stubbornness getting in the way? Um, they're changing. They're showing you a change that they can grow with you and things can be really good and that they can have hope. And I feel like that's what you're providing them without knowing it. Because their higher self is like, this is what you want. Stop playing around. Quit playing games with Virgo. Go after them. Get what you want. You know, stop being so stubborn and sitting here and doing nothing. It's time to get up off your butt and go do something. So, 
they feel it. They feel it within their heart that they need to speak up, that they need to act upon their thoughts, that they need to change some things if they want to see growth and happiness, excitement with you, um, which is exactly what they feel when they're with you. So... Okay, let's go ahead and get an oracle message came out right away. So right track, you are going in the right direction. So just keep moving forward. Okay, um, I like that you keep moving forward and they will follow behind you beside you. They'll meet you there. You just keep moving forward. And anything that's out of your control, Virgo, allow those things to catch up with you. You don't have to chase after them. Okay, so you just keep progressing. We we have breakthrough navigate life's many twists and turns with elegance and resilience Ooh, i love that beautiful all right virgo this is what i have for you if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up again i will be having a couple of changes to my channel i'm really excited to share that with everyone um and us connect a little bit more um yeah. So the next couple of weeks, I should be making those changes. I'm going to really focus on it. And um, I will see you all soon again this weekend with a couple more readings. So have a great rest of your day. Bye.